as women, we hold a great deal of power and persuasion. The enemy targets our womanhood because he wants us to be ineffective. We are wives, mothers, sisters, aunts, grandmothers, daughters and friends. We have jobs and run companies. We're often the glue that holds relationships together. And if the enemy can shake our confidence and make us second guess our value, it can have a ripple effect now and for the generations that are to come. Shame touches every single one of us. It hides in the shadows of the most successful, confident and high achieving woman who often struggles with balancing her life. It also hides in the heart of the broken, the abused and the downtrodden woman who's been told all of her life that she will never amount to anything. Shame loves darkness. It demands secrecy and it hates the truth. But I want you to know something. There is a path out of the darkness and into freedom. It's my heart to not only share my story, but to give you keys on how to move from a shame-filled to a shame-free life. I've been the woman that was shackled and gripped by shame, and Jesus Christ set me free. This journey of freedom has been the greatest and most painful struggle of my life, but totally worth it. I've lived bound and I've lived free, and I know which one I prefer and which one Jesus wants for you because it's for freedom that Christ has set us free. We are meant to live, and I mean truly live, unashamed of who God made us to be. The world says, shame on you, but I'm declaring shame off you in Jesus' name.